Hey everyone, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. I'm back on LEGO Digital Designer for a couple more tips uh, for using the program. And yes, it is 2020, but we're still using good old LDD out here. And today I'm going to focus on using this helpful guy called the Clone Tool. So the Clone Tool is basically what it says. It's going to copy pieces for you in the workspace. Um, but there's a couple different ways that you can use it that make it really effective. So the subject for today is this little passenger car, um, and this is one of many projects I did back in the day in Digital Designer before we had our YouTube channel going. Otherwise, I probably would have done a video about this one, but it's uh, several years old now, um, but it does serve pretty well to do an example for using the clone tool today. Uh, so let's go over here and focus on this piece. I'm going to use the right-click button, and that will just shift the per perspective in the program to the new side over here. And just so that this is out of the way, I'm going to hide the complete car and we can focus on um, the workplace right here. So there, before you can use the clone tool, you will have to do a little bit of work um, with the things that aren't symmetrical. So building up this base, you'll have to kind of do that the old fashioned way using the pieces over here and just work on that building it up. And then um, whatever kind of has unique geometry and is not going to be symmetrical about an axis, you'll need to build that up as well. Um, but when you're using the same kind of pieces, for example, um, these windows, you can actually go in here. I'm going to use control and select multiple pieces at the same time. So now we have these two pieces in the window selected and we can just click on clone tool and that will create a copy of exactly what I had. So you can you can use it like that and create a copy of a couple pieces at a time and then instead of doing it for all five windows basically you just build the one window and then copy the rest into place. So once you have um, whatever section that you want built up like this you'll select everything. So this is the section that I actually want to have two of on the train car and I'm gonna have one on each side and uh, the reason that this works is they're exactly the same. So uh, what I can do is just copy this whole section. Now that I have everything selected, I'll do the clone tool again, and it's going to give me that whole wall copied. And what it does is it, it gives it to you like if you were to just grab a brick from the wall on the left side, um, except it's all together as one section. So I'll use my controls to kind of turn this around, and then I can place it where I want to put it, right there. Um, now that you can you can see that I have the clone tool selected so anything that I select now will do the exact same thing so I can actually make copies of this and now I can make copies of both of them and so you can see that you can kind of um, double everything really quickly here so if you're working on like building an army of soldiers this is a really fast way to get an army built in digital designer you can just copy one, then copy two, then copy two and you get four, copy four and you get eight, copy eight you get sixteen. It's the classic doubling game, but um, I only needed two for the car, so I'm going to get rid of most of these here. We'll just clean this up a little bit. Now if you don't want to clone something, you can just go back to the single selection tool. Click and drag there, and now if you click any brick, that will pick up the whole thing, and I can put this in place. Right there. So the walls are done. Um, I was going to do this on the inside too with the chairs. So I'll just do that real quick. So it works for single bricks and groups of bricks. All right, so that we have we have that kind of wrapped up. Recenter here on the train car. So once you have the structure that you want to copy built, it's pretty easy to get that copied and then place it in the model. Um, the really handy thing about using the clone tool is once you have the brick um, out here on the build floor that you want, you pretty much never have to go back to the piece selection. You can just use the clone tool to copy it and then put that somewhere else in the model wherever you're going to need it. All right, let's get the roof built up here and I'm going to use the clone tool a couple more times while I'm building the roof. Um, but this is already done for the most part. Like I said, I had this model. Um, built quite a while ago, so there isn't a whole lot more to do here. Um, just as you're building, 
you might want to keep a little stock off to the side that you can use the clone tool and go over and, and pick from and then you don't have to worry about kind of digging through the model to find it or going over here to the brick wall. You can just use the clone tool um, almost like you would have for an actual um, building with physical bricks out on the table. You know, you kind of have a little pile going. So I know I need one more of those and one more of those. Copy those. You can also use escape and that will take you back to the single selection tool if you don't feel like moving your mouse up here to click that. So the last thing that I, I have to build for the train car is kind of the roof windows. And I don't know how close you guys were looking at the old model, but um, I'm going to alternate with a dark red and a clear one by two plate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just copy a bunch of these. And like I said before, you can, well, not, I would go through and select all four of these. Yeah, we can do that. Now we have four more right here and now I just need two more right there alright so there is a bunch of 1 by 2 plates all stacked up here and the reason I'm doing individual plates is because I'm actually going to color these now and the paint tool is a tool for a different video but I'm just going to use it here really quick and we can change the color of every other one to my heart's content The same rules apply with the paint tool, you know, you can select a group of pieces and do all that, but um, just for demonstration purposes. And then we'll use our clone tool again to kind of finish this off here. See if we can get just the tiles selected. Yep. Oops. That needs a space. All right, just the tiles. Bring that in one more time that one by twos out here on the end escape get rid of that one all right now I can just group all of these together and this will move as a single piece we'll put it on top of the stack there and as you guys you know continue to use digital designer you'll get faster um, I think using the right mouse button to kind of rotate the scene uh, was a breakthrough moment for me when I could do that instead of using these side arrows. Now we've got the roof done. I'll recenter everything on the car. Oh yeah, one more thing to do here. I did want to put a little brace across the top. So I'm going to have to get a two by four plate. We'll just use the handy search and put in the black one right across the top there. Just a little brace and now I'll put the roof on, call it done. Like so. So there we have the complete car built up. Um, really most of the work in doing this was in the chassis down here where you can't really copy things and then building up one side of the wall. You need to put in some time and effort to do that, especially if you don't have this designed out already, just kind of trial and error with where you want colors and stuff. but. Once you have something that can be copied over to the other side, the clone tool makes it really fast and easy to do that. And then of course, once you have the whole thing done and you want multiples, we can just copy the same one. And you guys can probably guess what I'm gonna do now. This is a passenger car for a train. So a train you wanna have really long. Right? How many is that? Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve passenger cars. You know what? One row isn't enough. We need a whole train yard of these guys. <laughs> and you can see my computer starting to slow down a little bit. So we have <laughs> over 10,000 pieces now. So once you have something built up and you have it how you like it, and you know you need a bunch of them, the clone tool makes that a piece of cake to do. And uh, as long as your computer holds up, you can kind of clone to your heart's content. I'm not sure how many people have tested the limits of Digital Designer, but uh, we got up past 10,000 pieces pretty quickly, so that seems like it's holding up okay. 
on my computer at least. I don't know what you guys have running, but that is uh, kind of an introduction to the clone tool or, you know, a little bit more of an introduction as we did. I did cover the rest of these tools and kind of, you know, how to use the rest of the program in a different video, but I wanted to focus on using this clone tool this time. Um, and once you start getting combinations of the selection tool and the clone tool going, you can do a lot. Like I can just quick demonstration here at the end and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. But if I want to copy all of the clear window bricks for some reason, can I do that? Multiple selection tool. Yeah. So I've copied <laughs> everything that is clear here is copied out. So if I decide that I don't want to have those in the model at all, I can actually click on delete and it will get rid of all of those. For some reason, if I think I need twice as many as I currently have, I can now, you see that they're selected, right? With the, the blue outline. As long as you have one piece or a group of pieces selected, you can copy everything. So now I've copied all the windows. Um, we'll use the multiple selection tool again with color multiple. Now we have everything selected and I can actually delete everything. So not only does that take all of those off, it also takes everything out of the windows as well. But I think I'd rather have at least the glass in the windows, if not all of these. So yeah, just some shortcuts for you guys to use the clone tool. Um, and once you start combining that with some of the other shortcuts in the toolbar and getting to know your way around the program, it does become pretty powerful. Um, I find that for the most part it saves me time instead of having to go back through and picking through pieces. As long as I already have it on the build floor, I can just find it and copy it. And then I can use it that way. And like I was saying, you might want to consider having a little build pile over on the side or one of the corners of your build floor so that you can just kind of go over there and pick from that whenever you need a piece. All right, that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, this will be in the digital builders 2020 pay playlist so a couple other digital designer videos and some studio videos as well uh, working on keeping those updated through 2020 and into 2021 thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time on brick system brothers